Hey everyone, Will here. Uh, we just did uh, part one, ending on the uh, snake charmer flute. We're going to start up uh, part two now. Moving on, took a chance on this, five bucks, some kind of light. It says, in loving memory, uh, from Israel. Uh, interesting piece. Uh, Gillette razors, these were four dollars a piece. Uh, still in the original box. Uh, lots of guys going back to the old time razors. Uh, some Hall uh, mugs. Looks like Caesar on there. I'm guessing these are from a restaurant. Uh, they were five apiece. Uh, hopefully, it was a popular restaurant. A uh, take. Let me get back so you get a full look at this vase. I love this vase. I mean, it is. Uh, I don't. It, it is very heavy. Uh, it must be like ten pounds of uh, crystal there. Uh, you can see the way it catches light, and uh, it still needs to be clean. Only five dollars. That's because got a big chunk out of it here. But uh, I'm gonna keep it for use around the house. You know, put a bunch of flowers in there. I'll never even notice that. Uh, that chip missing out of it. Uh, but just liked it. Never seen anything quite like that vase before. Couldn't find a name etched on the bottom or anything, but it's been around for a long time. Uh, also with it is a sterling silver, I guess you would call this a uh, Omega necklace, something like that. Got some nice weight to it. Um, $10 on that. Uh, did I cover everything? Oh, the uh, Colts buttons and the uh, World's Fair uh, New York Statue of Liberty and New York World's Fair 1939 uh, That was uh, $15 uh, for the three pieces Uh, Susan's crochet doll kit got three of them uh, everything you need for a crochet doll I've seen these crochet dolls around never knew that it was a do-it-yourself kit so I spent uh, $15 I got the three doll kits the uh, Flintstones game and the uh, coca-cola uh, set all for fifteen dollars. Really good deal there. One of my favorite pieces of the day. Check out this guy. Really cool piece. Elephant marked. Um, the Sun Rubber Company, 1961. He is a cool piece. Really good shape. He still squeaks. Chiquita Banana Girl. Tony the Tiger, um, a few other uh, rubber toys, a little gorilla in the back there, uh, Indian, uh, well done, made by uh, Marks, and has a date of 1964 on the bottom. The uh, battery operated. Uh, Monkey carrying the suitcases, $30, but uh, I've had really good luck with uh, battery operated stuff in the past. Took a chance on him. Love this thing. This is a uh, Daisy Ice Crusher. Um, flip it open, put your ice cubes in there, turn the crank, and... Uh, it's uh, get your ice in the bottom there. A really neat uh, kind of a rocket shape to it. Uh, Ten bucks on that. Uh, my son bought himself a pair of maracas uh, for seven. Why I have no idea. Uh, Three dollars for all of the uh, seven dwarves. Kodak disc camera still in the original box. Took a chance on that for eight. 
couple of uh, horse cast aluminum uh, bookends. Uh, they were eight. A couple cat uh, ashtrays made out of uh, brass or bronze. And they were uh, three bucks a piece. Whole stack of patches. Always uh, love getting patches. Um, Fort Ticonderoga, New York. Uh, just some uh, some neat stuff. Um, sell them individually. Ah, mustache cup, seven bucks, made in Germany. Should do well with that. Love the uh, the figural dog head uh, teapot for ten bucks, and the uh, clown. I guess you would call that a cracker jar uh, for eight. Uh, good quality glass lamps, uh, 25 for the set. Uh, if my wife parts with them, uh, should get um, probably put like a hundred for the pair. Now these are interesting. They were made um, can't really uh, made by Jackie Austin. Um, each one has its own certificate. Not really big on dials. Uh, however, I looked some of these up and they're bringing pretty good money. Um, I think I, I paid $100 for this entire box. Um, there's like six of them in there. Uh, but from what I've seen, they bring good money. Uh, I'm thinking... Um, Probably a hundred or so just for the guy. Two hundred for the rest. I'm thinking I'll walk away with three hundred out of this box. Check it out. This is an actual pheasant. Uh, dead pheasant they use is making part of the uh, outfit there. Pretty weird, but uh, somebody's got to like that. Okay, really big purchase here. One bin, two bins, three bins, nothing but I Love Lucy stuff. Still in the original box. Uh, just somebody, somebody's entire I Love Lucy collection. Uh, it's like 150 items in here. Uh, we have I Love Lucy Monopoly, I Love Lucy Board Game, Lucy... Uh, ornaments anything I love Lucy this person came across they bought um, and as you can see still in the original box wasn't cheap everything here was uh, $300 it priced it out though 150 pieces it's like paying two dollars a, a piece so uh, a lot of listing right there but uh, uh, think I'll do well. I mean, the uh, Monopoly alone has got to be a uh, uh, 30 to $40 game right there. Uh, more Danbury Mint stuff. I was looking at this, trying to decide whether to buy it, so I looked that up. It, the reproductions of uh, Raceways, that's Daytona 500. Here's uh, Darlington, and that's uh, Talladega. And so I pulled out my phone and take a look. This kind of made up my mind for me. Daytona International Speedway, Daytona Beach, Florida, Danbury Mint. 195 I sold for uh, back in 2012. So uh, not too bad. Paid 20, 25, 25. So $70 for the lot. I don't know if I'll be able to get that 195 for that, but should do very well with it. We will see. Uh, last few pieces of the day. Uh, old circus poster. It's been used. You can see the uh, staple holes up in the corners. You got a, somebody put a date of 1980 in the corner, and for two bucks, it's worth a chance. Uh, and a couple cool pieces here. 
David Copperfield uh, magic posters from right around the early 1980s. Um, I think this is like 84, 85, or 83, 84. Um, actually, autographed by uh, David Copperfield. Uh, pretty neat. So, I'm thinking... Uh, probably, I paid 30 a piece for him. I'm thinking at least 100 a piece for him. Maybe more. Because uh, something like that, hard to come across. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, my employees uh, will definitely be busy this week um, it's it's a full week of uh, listing stuff right here I think uh, so keep an eye on my store terminal 99 is called on eBay and uh, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing uh, over the next uh, five days so uh, till next time uh, this is Will the Yard Sales Survivalist, and we'll talk again soon.